hello everyone in this video we are going to look at how to use bootstrap studio so in the last video i mentioned that i have not seen many people use this uh, tool so i thought why not make a video on it so let's let's start making something so i'm going to use the uh, same black friday sales uh, file uh, to make the changes and then and we'll create something on this only all right so uh, so if I want to start with something, uh, this is where I go first. So as you can see on the left, uh, there are a lot of components that we can use. All right. So um, maybe we should let's look at the UI part. So so when you hover over this, you will see how it actually looks like when you put it on your website. So I'd actually use this article dual column for the Black Friday sales website that I made. And there are other things also like features, features box. So we'll choose one from this and we'll create something right now. So okay, article. Okay, cool. So we'll go with article list. So what we do is we drag this and I want it at the bottom of my currently division tag and I drop it. So this is this is how it uh, how it looks right now. All right. So we'll consider uh, this for the demo purposes. So this was one of the problem statement. Now we'll consider uh, these three columns as three different problem statements. All right. So uh, now what I need to do is I need to edit this. Okay. So what? So I simply uh, click on this. So when I click on this, it gives me a couple of options. So this is to move it. This is to if I want to go uh, to the parent uh, division tag. Then I click on this. This is the edit. So I want to edit it. So I'll edit this. Let's say uh, this is a classification based problem. Classification problem. All right. So similarly, if I want to change this, then I'll click on this. Select. Uh, then uh, maybe uh, we can write overview of the problem statement. All right. So this is how it looks. So uh, when I click on this, uh, on the right side you'll see uh, something comes up. All right. So this is where you do the uh, if you want to change the color or maybe you want to increase the font and everything, you can do this from here. So th if you go over here, so you'll see the layout. So if you want to change the padding, the left, right, top, bottom padding, uh, you can do that. So click on the drop down and then you can uh, mention the pixel pixels over here and then it will move up and down the way you put uh, the pixel values uh, I want the background color as transparent because it looks good great I don't have a background image works font font size is 16 so maybe we should make it like uh, click on this it make it 20 so 20 20 20 looks good so 20 so we have an arrow button also let's click on this let's see what features does this have so the same uh, in the tool the style attributes we have go on the settings we have responsive display flexibility okay I have something called as link yes I can put something over here so uh, this is where you put uh, URL so what we do is uh, let's uh, redirect this to another website So uh, maybe uh, let's go on Kegel. Mm. Let's go on data. So I have different data sets. I'll copy this link. I'll go back and paste it here. So I have this link. So uh, now this arrow click click is uh, redirecting us to that to this link all right and what else op what else what other options we have uh, we have color let's keep it primary is blue secondary is grayish success is green 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 let's keep it green now all right okay so uh, what else what else uh, so what I want to do is uh, let's say I want to uh, know about the problem statement also from here itself so what can we take from here 
uh, we have image we have text no control split button that won't work page navbar no we don't need that okay what we can do is let's let's i like this uh, very much let's let's do a modal modal will be uh, so not this one let's use the launch launch modal so i drag it i'll place it here okay so if you don't know what a modal is uh, uh, it's basically uh, the thing that pops up on your website if you click uh, click on it so uh, let's see let's see that so when i click on this uh, so okay on the left hand side we are going to see whatever we drag on the website so i have these many things on my website so all the things will be here so this is the article is that we re, uh, just now uh, put it on our website all right so i have done that so i have the model over here let's so let's click on the arrow button and so when you click on this mod, modal body uh, it's going to pop this uh, small navigation bar which actually uh, is going to tell you what you what's going to happen all right so when i click on uh, launch this is going to come up this little window is going to come up so uh, we'll use this to uh, display our problem statement all right so let's click on this we'll edit this make it problem statement and uh, we can put here the uh, entire description let's let's go do that too so we have taken this Mm, so we have a, a description all right so let's copy this control c description edit control all control v yes so i have uh, the entire thing thing here now all right so this this is this is good this looks good so now i want to uh, go out of this uh, modal so i'll just hide this and then we are back again all right so i don't want this so we'll edit this and write uh, okay this will be um, maybe this problem description yes problem description so uh, as you can see there's the the two uh, the overview of the problem statement and problem descri description is to uh, near to each other so so now we can uh, use the styling attribute click on this let's go to padding I have padding right as 8 pixels let's increase that to no no not this not this one yeah, okay so we need to go in margin actually so margin top is zero right so let's increase this so it's going down right now make it okay cool 8 pixels 8 pixels is good so we have something right now okay and if you want to edit this image so uh, on this part design part you'll see a, a folder name as images so uh, you can uh, use any of this Im uh, this image so let's say i want to use beach.jpg so what you do is you click on this and uh, you'll see uh, over here the source url just change this to beach dot beach sorry beach dot gpg and as you can see it has changed now completely changed all right so uh okay so before we proceed uh from this uh if you want to see how it looks so this is where you go preview click on preview preview is disabled enable it you get a link copy it control c close this paste it all right so you have this you go down so we are getting everything all right so we have this so the modal thing that i was uh, talking about is this so if I click on this so this is what uh, comes up all right so uh, you can change this close and save and customize it as per your uh, application right now we don't need both so maybe uh, you can remove it or you know use the close button to close it this also we customize this link so if you click on this it is going to redirect me to this this uh, uh, this particular kegel problem all right so we go back back on our website this is the preview make sure this is, so this is on they are on, on a local machine 192 something okay 
so let's go back to our bootstrap studio so this is uh, this is how you do a simple uh, article uh, thing that you want to do so this is a for this is for a classification problem you can do this for other two uh, as well you know something different maybe this is uh, a regression problem and this is something image classification or something else I mean, anything you can do so we have other things also in the component section uh, we can we'll look at the nav bar also so let, let's type nav bar nav so we have a couple of options so uh, nav bar clean nav bar with button okay we have a login and a sign up button in this nav bar with search okay so let's go with navigation with button so drag this i want it under my name all right let's let's remove let's remove this i don't need this so company name all right so maybe this is um, no okay xyz when put like a string all right and this is this is how you can add different uh, components to your website this is this is one way of doing it now uh, this so this is only one page so as you can see this is our index.html page only all right so what if you want to make uh, more pages so click simply click on the drop down new page so you got a new page all right so in this also we'll uh, add something and then we'll connect those two uh, maybe one more, what do we have in cards card overlay navigation form email form group let's add a login page so we have a login form dark let's drag this and we have a nice looking login page all right so uh, we can rename this file from the from here so let's go up so you can see this pages click right click rename so this is a login login.html all right let's move back to uh, back to our index.html page all right so what you want is uh, when i click on this login uh, i want to redirect to that login page all right let's click on this uh, so i can link this right see you have a url here which is hash right now so simply change this to login.html all right so now this is link okay save it let's go back on our browser refresh it's refreshed we have everything the way it was before uh, the navigation bar is added let's click on login great now this, this this is redirected to our login page so now you can you know maybe add your login page and other stuff all right let's go back let's go back to our bootstrap uh, file so we have a lot of things uh, that we can do here uh, now i'll show you if uh, so if th there might be a, a case where you want to edit the html uh, part directly in this all right so that, that that also you can do so let's go on on our article blog so let's say i want to uh what I, what do i have paragraph let's go our model header all right so if i want to convert this uh, into editable format i just need to click right i need to right click and you'll see this option convert to html so when you click on this you are able to see uh, the HTML part. All right, let's drag this a little bit. So this is the entire code from here. Here you can uh, access this. So if you click on convert on convert to HTML, you can make changes over here. Okay. So uh, let's say description. So when you click on any of the uh, classes, you'll see the CSS part on the right side. Okay. So if you want to make uh, any changes, so you can you know add it add directly so as you can see i can add, uh, edit this let's say i want to uh, maybe put a background color this uh, black let's go with black and let's see if it's showing somewhere so as you can see uh, i've taken the uh, description class and the background color is black that's why you can see uh, it's black here on the uh, you know preview part all right so I don't want to do it right now. Backspace, All right. like this. So if you want your, if you want to add your own uh, CSS pages, 
then uh, you go to the styles part here you will find all the css you can add your own in the style.css file everything you can customize it uh, personally uh, what i do is uh, uh, i don't do a convert to html on my bootstrap file what i do is i uh, completely uh, make the overview or the template of what i want to create and then i export this file so when you do that i get all the html files and the images folder and everything and then i use a editor uh, maybe you can use a notepad plus plus or a sublime i use sublime sublime in that i do the other changes that i want to make all right so i'll show you how to export this so uh, so here is what you do click on the drop drop down export options uh, i want to export this in let's change now browse okay so uh, i'll put this on the no, not desktop into my d drive let's go to the m folder which is an empty folder so i've selected that folder m folder select the folder all right and make sure you enable the minify javascript and uh, use a cdn all right click on save and simply click on export so it says your design was exported now let's go and take a look at that part all right so we have control d drive m so as you can see i have two html pages and it has created an created an assets folder in which i have the images in one and css uh, files in one all right so uh, we already know already know what we have uh, on our uh, index and login so if you want to view it so i use sublime okay so this is this this is what the login page is uh, when you uh, did the dragging and dropping on your website all right so now you can make uh, any changes if you want you know h3 anything anything you can do all right and then you save it and then you can uh, do and then you can uh, see it on your browser all right so uh, this is this is what i wanted to show you actually there are uh, many things that you can do on uh, this particular uh, this particular tool uh, okay so this is also i think i missed out so if you want to view uh, how this website is going to look on your phone simply click here so this is how it looks so you can adjust uh, whatever you want to all right this is on your tab this is also one of the features it will look on uh, one of the devices this is your laptop and this is your desktop all right so uh, there are many many other things that you can do so i cannot uh, complete everything uh, in one video to be honest so if you have any doubts i can uh, clear them out you can put them in the comment comment section below and uh, we can uh, discuss about other things on bootstrap studio as well so if you like this video um, please like share and subscribe uh, and if you like this con content uh, and you want some different content on our channel you can post that also in the comment section below uh, i'll also give a link to, to the uh, to download the bootstrap studio in the description so you can use it download it uh, personally i feel this it's this is a very uh, effective tool it saves a lot of time and you don't you don't need to start anything from scratch right so it's it's it, it gets very uh, difficult if you have to do everything from scratch and uh, it, that's not uh, efficient right so this was the uh, aim of the tutorial i hope you learned something all right thank you